Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again, and it's the end of the year, the end of 2013, and it's time to make New Year's resolutions. I'm going to make a separate video for my New Year's resolutions for 2014, but I want to go over in this video my failed resolutions of 2013. So let's get started. Hey. Okay, so let's just go in my notes here for a second. Over here I have my New Year's resolutions for 2013. I wrote these like in January of 2013. I just wrote them down in my notes instead of writing them down physically on paper. I think I wrote them down on paper, but I can't find it. So we're just going to go with this. Body. So stuff with to do with like my body. Because I'm, I'm, I created clever subtitles. I think eating better, I have not done so well. Because... I don't eat a lot of vegetables or fruits, so I failed that one. Smaller meals. Now, I'm someone who has big portions of food, and I tend to get double servings and stuff like that. So, I think I've done a good job of knowing how much to eat instead of just going overboard and overeating. Work out. I think I worked out twice after, you know, like reading this in the middle of the year, but I have not done a serious real workout in a really long time because I just don't work out. So I definitely want to start working out more <laughs> just to stay fit, you know, because I want to be like healthy. Now this one is called self. That's, that's the genre I put it under, self. Be positive. And then in brackets, optimistic. Like, what's wrong with me? I think I felt like I was a very negative person back then, so I felt I needed to write down be a positive person. Next, likable personality. Okay, um, I'm not likable apparently, because that's how I made it sound. Less sarcasm, because I'm a very sarcastic person. I think I'm still very sarcastic, but not as much as I was like a year ago. So, I think I did that one, so that's good. Now this one is under looks, so how I look, basically. <laughs> smile. There. I smiled. Posture. Now I have pretty bad posture. I used to have really good posture, and then like I started slouching, and then, I don't know, I guess I got used to it, and started slouching more and became used to it. That is something I want to work on, but it's too bad. I'm... I have bad posture now, like, I'm always slouching. Hygiene. I put little bullet points underneath. Less lazy showers. I think I remember this. I would always, like, I'm not one of those people who don't like to take a shower. Like, I do like to take a shower. It's just going to the shower. I'm so lazy. Like, I feel like I don't want to stop whatever I'm doing. But after I take a shower, I feel ref refreshed. I feel clean. So I don't know why I, don't li I didn't like going to the shower, but now I... I like taking showers because I feel clean. Brush teeth day and night. So I use, I know this. I would always brush my teeth in the morning because I would go to school and I wouldn't want like hot breath. Ugh. But I remember like sometimes I would fall asleep and then just like forget to brush my teeth. So I do that now. I brush my teeth like don't worry. Like I, I brush my teeth like morning and night now. Last bullet point. More volume in my hair. You guys can't see like... My hair is like pretty flat, so I'm I want to put more volume in it. I just yeah, I'm um, I'm working on it. I'm working on my hair. Now this next category is magic. If you guys don't know, I do like magic tricks because I'm a nerd, and I don't know. I just got into this hobby of doing magic tricks. I'll just make it as simple as possible. So even if like you're a layman, you won't like totally not understand what I'm saying. But if you guys don't care about magic, you can skip ahead. <laughs> Now what I wanted to do was create my own original effect and put it out there to sell for people to buy and they can get it through a download. But I never created a trick, I could never think of my own trick, and I never, you know, without the trick I had nothing to sell, so I never did that. Do more flourishes. If you guys don't know what a flourish is, it's basically kind of like dexterity with cards. It's really hard to explain but it's just like maneuvering the cards in a way that look like a very flourishy action. So that was something I definitely wanted to do, but I never really got into doing a lot of flourishes. I did learn some, so I did partially do that one, but not to the extent that I would want. 
work on learning mentalism slash hypnotism. This is something really cool. It's like a level up for magic, like a moving up from basic card tricks. You're going into reading someone's mind and, you know, all the things that come with mentalism and hypnotism. Now, the only reason I haven't gotten to this is because, like, the DVDs and books are pretty expensive to learn hypnotism. Get at least one paid gig meaning i wanted to get hired as a magician to perform at like parties and stuff and i did sort of do this one as well because i was hired but there wasn't really a pay for it so i didn't really get paid for it but i still did perform so i'll kind of count that one now this is on to school stuff now, i've been doing pretty good in school thank you one of these is get no less than an 85 percent on my report card, which I have done. So thank you, I am not a failure. So happy I can say that I checked off that one, I did that one, i am gotten all A's basically on my report card. So that's good. Now, these last ones are kind of out there. Um, they're kind of like, I don't know what I was thinking about when I was writing them, but it's, move to California and be on a TV show slash movie. Hmm. I mean, I've always wanted to be an actress and I told myself that this year I would go out and try to find an audition or do something like that, but I have not been looking as hard as I should be if I want to, you know, actually pursue that career. Um, I was thinking about getting at least one audition for the year. At least try and put myself out there and get an audition to a, like a network or something like that. But I never did that either because I could never find one. Not that I could never find one, I wasn't looking that hard. So sadly, I don't get to cross off getting an audition or being on a TV show slash movie. Now these last ones are resolutions that I made for YouTube. I created this channel over a year ago and the goals I set for it were much higher than expected. But here it is. Post at least one video a week. I didn't do that. Have a viral video. You can't plan a viral video, it just happens. <laughs> Get a million views by 2014. 2014 is like in a couple days and I am nowhere near one million. I'm nowhere near six figures, okay? I barely get two figures. One day, maybe. I'll become a YouTube partner. I am planning on becoming a YouTube partner. I'm not one yet, but it's something that is very possible that I just haven't done yet because I have not posted enough videos to become eligible for. Eligible? Legible. Eligible. Whatever. Eligible for becoming a YouTube partner, but I think it's something that's very possible that I could do in the upcoming year. But yeah, those are my New Year's resolutions of 2013, most of which I have failed, but on some of them I actually did do them, which is pretty good. Not as many as I would like, but I mean, at least I did not not do any of them. I want to make this kind of like an annual thing. I will have a New Year's resolution video for 2014 that I told you guys about. And then hopefully in upcoming years, if I'm doing this in a few years, I want to do kind of like an annual follow-up video to let you know if I have completed all my resolutions and goals and if I failed or not. This is just like the start of that whole series of videos. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Look out for my New Year's resolutions for the upcoming year. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!